guys, it's Tanya. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and I would love it if you consider subscribing. What we're doing today is decorating my kitchen for fall 2022. I want to put out a bunch of cozy fall decor that I think will be really nice anytime I come into the kitchen and incorporate it nicely with the rest of my fall decor, okay? As you can see, I have a few things already done there and there, and we'll take a look at that in a little bit up close. So let's go ahead and start decorating for fall. Now I've already cleaned everything out besides what I keep out normally, and I've wiped the countertops down with Mrs. Myers. I love that. I think it's acorn fall scent, love it. So the house is smelling really fall and cozy, so let's start decorating. The first thing I like to do when decorating is set the mood. So I'm going to go ahead and light this hazelnut, praline, and vanilla candle that I picked up at Home Goods. It says it's a delicate blend of hazelnut, chestnut, and almond caramelized with brown sugar and vanilla bean, okay? So I am looking forward to that. That smells delicious. Okay, let's start putting everything out. Now I will tell you, if you look right here, this is a wonderful idea. I took this from Hobby Lobby. It's really a shelf. And I had Melvin just put um, tiny little screws up in that to connect it to our uh, window seal. And I love how farmhouse French country that looks. So if you have a place for that, I love that thing. Okay, I'm going in with this ladder that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to set it right here. Then I'm going in with this, the last, it was a set of I think four tea towels that I picked up at TJ Maxx Home Goods. And I'm just going to set that right over the top. Looks so festive already, okay? Then I want to take this little leaf that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, and I just want to hang it right there to add some interest. And then this little scoop that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, I think I'm going to try to put it right through there like that. And I love it, it's so simple, but yet it looks so festive and adds a lot of interest. Okay, now I'm going in with this. Um, I made this, it's one of my DIYs. I made it with my Cricut and I wanted it to say pumpkin spice. And the font is farmhouse, I believe. I got it off of defont.com. And this was just a container that a neighbor gave us years ago, a big set. And I loved it, but it didn't really match my decor. So I did this, I painted the spoon and had Melvin cut me a little top and I just put that right on there. And I think it is so sweet for the different seasons, okay? So I'm gonna set that right in here. I used to store like my um, little pods and things in there. But now, since we have our drink station, I don't do that. But it's beautiful decor, okay? Then I have this, picked this up at Michael's last year. I just love how beautiful that looks with that little wicker basket that came from Target's dollar spot. I think it goes really well together. And we'll take a look at my tear tray in a minute. Okay, you might be able to see this better. This is always very challenging to film. So I have the shades pulled. The pool is out through there, but the sun is so bright that it's almost impossible to film this area. So like I said, I just had Melvin put this up here. It's perfect and it gives such a French country farmhouse look to this area and I love it. And it ties in so nicely with my little blessed sign and this over here. So let's continue. Okay, over here, and also like I said, I'll show you up close later. I just have some uh, 
cutting boards that I, I can't get enough of them, obviously. But I got those at Hobby Lobby, and then I picked this up at Hobby Lobby probably six months ago, I don't know. I think it was in a haul, so you all will remember. And I just have some Hobby Lobby greenery. This came from Target's Dollar Spot, and I just stuck it there because I've had a lamp on that side, but this corner is dark. We have under counter lighting, but the batteries, we go through them so much. So this just gives it a very warm and cozy atmosphere, okay? So now to my chicken wire shelf. This is another area that's hard to film. Okay. So I'm going in with this from Michael's last year. I love it. Just gonna set it right there and kind of nestle it in that corner. I think it looks so wonderful. And then I picked these up at Walmart a couple years ago. They were $6.98 a piece and I love this. I'm just going to set that right there. I'm keeping this really simple this year. And then I just put Hobby Lobby pumpkins and that came from Hobby Lobby, all that did. I got the wire, chicken wire cloche from Hobby Lobby, but always get it when it's on sale because it's very expensive, okay? And like I said, I'll take you down and let you see everything really close in a minute. Okay, in this corner, I'm going on in with this item that I picked up. I love this basket, this is metal. It was in the Hobby Lobby spring clearance, 75% off. I could not believe it. Now what I'm gonna do is move this. This all came from Hobby Lobby, okay? I'm gonna stick this right in there like that. Then I'm going to, this is a candle holder, Hobby Lobby, I'm telling you. Gonna put that there, and it's very secure on this. I haven't had any problems with anything tipping or trying to move, and I love it, okay? Okay, now I'm going in with this. Kitchen is pretty much Hobby Lobby, <laughs> but always get it on sale. I love their little pedestals, and I was in there, and I saw this. It lights up so pretty, and I love to have just something in this corner that has some light to it because I think it can be re relatively dark. So I'm gonna set that right there, pull that around. And isn't that adorable? Okay. Now I always keep this up to hide the outlets. <laughs> This time, this is hiding the outlet. So I'm just gonna set it there. I think it's really cute. Now I have some options. I could set my eggs in there if I wanted. I got this egg container at, at home and I love it, but I don't think I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna take this little pumpkin, Hobby Lobby, and just sort of snuggle it in there like that. I think that's really cute. And then if I wanted, I could go ahead and put my eggs right here. I don't know, I have to think about that. I may change that. Okay, now I'm going in with this, and I forgot to show you, but I have a really pretty one on front of the dishwasher that has a really pretty deep, um, kind of like that brownish rust color. So I'm just gonna put this right here. This is from the Dollar Tree. It was black when I got it, and I thought it looked so much like a one, a dupe from Hobby Lobby, so I painted it coffee latte, and then just moved the beads that came with it on each side, and I think it's adorable. It. Look how cute that is. Okay, for this side right here. Now, don't click off because I want to show you what I did above my refrigerator. I want to show you a wreath and another wreath because I love what I did over the refrigerator. I think this is the prettiest I've ever had in my kitchen for fall. Okay, so taking this, this was in the spring shop at Hobby Lobby, 75% off. It's plain on this side. But look at that, perfect for fall. So I'm just gonna take it, snug it right in here to hide those cords. Okay. 
okay? Then I'm going to take this, the other one that I picked up several years ago from Walmart, and I'm just gonna snug that right in there. And then I have to have another pumpkin. So I'm just gonna put that right like that. And I think we're finished. So let's take a really close look and I wanna show you those elements that you didn't see. Okay, if you stand here, this is what you see. And I will show you, if you missed this video, this is what I uploaded the other day and I got my little remote working. So that's the flameless candles. You get several and I'll link them in the description box. They were from Amazon. Then if you look right up here, that was from Hobby Lobby and I just incorporated some, I think there's like two or th two Hobby Lobby picks in there and I love that just looks so fall, okay? Then if you stand right here, this is what you see, okay? So right here, this is our little, uh, and I love that container that that candle comes in. I cannot wait, once I burn that, I'm gonna use that. So that's how I have that style. Then if we come right over here, here is my tiered tray. Kept it kind of simple this year, not too much over the top. I need to get something to elevate my spoons up, but I think it looks so sweet and cute. And I'm not 100% sure about that one little stem, but I love that. Then if you come over here, is that not adorable for a kitchen? <laughs> And then here this is, I just love it. Like I said, I'll link this little cup holder in the description box. And then right here, this is always so hard to film, but I love that idea I came up with. And then if you come over here, this is what you see. These came from Target's Dollar Spot. That was Hobby Lobby. And like I told you, that is Hobby Lobby and Target's dollar spot. And now you can really get a good view of this. It's always very hard to film, but I love it. I've got my little olive tree in that container. And then look at that. Now this pig Melvin bought me for our anniversary a couple years ago at a local antique store, so I can't link it. But just look at the pumpkin goodness going on there. Love it. Then if you come up here, like I said, this is my favorite I have ever decorated for fall. That's a basket that I keep up there pretty much year round except for Christmas. I started doing that, I think it was this spring. And that just has some, it has two picks in there. And those leaves are from Michael's and that's a Walmart pumpkin and I just stuck it in there and I wanted it to look so organic like it's just out in the field and it's growing and I love it. It keeps true to all my decor colors in here for fall. Okay, normally I put a wreath here, but I had to change it up and I'll show you why in a minute. This came from Amazon, I'll link it. I've had it, this is I think my second year for this. Love how that looks and I just have it on our laundry room door. I think it is so beautiful. Okay, then up there is a little pantry sign that I picked up from Amazon. I'll link it in case you're interested. And then I made that with IOD stamps. Now right here, let me show you this. This is a wreath that I put up and that's why I had to move it because I couldn't have a wreath there and then a wreath there. So I had to do wreath there and then wreath there. And I love it. Okay, there is that. Then if you come down through here, that is what you see. And I have my Buffalo check mats picked up off of Amazon. I'll link those as well down. I love them for fall. And then there's my little Dollar Tree. 
upcycled picture. And then over here, this is not so cute. I think I may remove the eggs, not sure. But I love this, look how pretty this is. It just gives you very cozy fall vibes. And on this right here, I need to take um, a little marker and fix that, okay? Then right here is a bistro sign that I got at, at no, I got it at Old World Pottery a long time ago. And then here this is, I love keeping our olive oil and our vinegar out. And I just think this makes such a cozy little corner. And then right here is that towel that I forgot to show you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I love decorating my home for all the holidays and just decorating it in general. It gives me such pleasure and happiness and Melvin loves it and Maggie loves it. Believe you me, she can tell when things are fancy because I take her around and I say, oh, how pretty, and she looks like, oh yes, mama, it is. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. Now I want to tell you before I forget, uh, I want to wish everyone a wonderful Labor Day weekend and I won't be uploading on Tuesday because Melvin's taking a very long Labor Day weekend and I'm excited about that so who knows what we'll get into. If it's anything that I think you'd be interested in, I'll film it. Otherwise, you won't see me <laughs> until Wednesday for another Decorate With Me. So let me go get Maggie and let her say hi to you. Well, here is the baby and she was conked out on the couch as usual. <laughs> Maggie, you gonna say hi to your friends? Say hi, say hi, say hello, say I love you. She's a sweet baby. So until next time, bye guys.